I went, went to the University of Hawaii, got commissioned from there as a second lieutenant in armor and uh, served three and a half years on active duty. I commanded a tank company in Europe. Uh, when I went to Vietnam, I was with Delta Troop 2nd 17th CAF, and, uh, and they were assigned to the 101st Airborne Division, and we all took care of each other. Well, <clears throat> we, uh, we went into the Ashaw Valley. Um, we repelled in uh, to find and fix where the enemy was. And then the, um, after that, the infantry batons were standing by, so once we found the enemy, they would reinforce us. Um, what we found was a little more than a few people. We found a base, NVA base camp. And as a result, we occupied that, and they actually came up to try and get it back. Um, and what they did was they shot RPGs into the trees, and the shrapnel came down on us. And so I still have shrapnel in my body today. But you couldn't stand up when they're doing that because then you would have gotten a shot. I recovered into troop, and then I got promoted to captain. And I, I, when I got promoted to captain, I moved up to troop headquarters. And that's what usually happens because I was a platoon leader at the time, which is a lieutenant. Mm -hmm. And then um, and finished up over there and then went to the 100, 101st Aviation Group to take over a unit there uh, before I came home. I was brought in a family where patriotism was the key. You, you, you live in a great country, you got to be prepared to support it, German family. Um, and I never thought secondly. Um, when I came back here, um, I was very disappointed, primarily because we had great troops that were fighting for their country, and their, their frustration with the war passed on and hurt a lot of real good soldiers and caused a lot of issues. It teaches you how to plan, uh, to plan strategically as, as well as every day. It, it makes you disciplined to do what you need to do and do it conscientiously. Um, and that, that drive that the military taught me carried through in my own entire personal life. And because you learn certain values like honesty, integrity, honor, uh, duty, and that's very important in any profession. The hardest thing to send battle in, to send men into battle, not knowing whether they were, they were going to be coming back or not, and you had to prepare them for that inevitable if it did happen. But that was always a hard part, not only for me but for any leader. You just protect your country and do the job that you can do to the best of your ability, because they're the ones that's keeping us free. Because freedom isn't free. And everybody feels, well, we have an, uh, uh, we have an army that's going to protect us. But they're the ones that are really protecting us against the enemies. Well, people don't understand how close you get to your buddy when you go to combat. Because there's another, uh, there isn't any experience that you can put through that can come close to that. Because you become like brothers. And you'll do anything you can to save that individual from being hurt, even it means putting your life at stake.